Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lady Like May. This is Sherry. In today's video, I will show you how I bathe my 6-month-old baby. The way I bathed him before when he was a newborn is totally different from the way I bathe him now. It changes as he grows. I give him a bath 3 or 4 times a week. I don't need to give him a bath daily because, of course, he is a baby, he's not dirty, his skin is still delicate, and bathing him too much can dry out his skin. I just make sure that in those days where I'm not giving him a bath, I wipe him with a damp cloth or I also use gentle wipes to clean him. And of course, the consistent diaper changes is also a must. Before I get my baby for his bath, I prepare two stations for him. First is what you see right now and the second station is where I get him dressed and that is in our bedroom. Preparation is crucial when it comes to bathing a baby, no matter how old she or he is. You need to prepare the things your baby needs during a bath. I get everything just you know within my reach because I don't want to step away from my baby during this time. The product that I use for my baby at the moment is this big bottle of Eucerin Baby Wash and Shampoo. This one in particular is 2-in-1 tear-free formula with pro-vitamin B5 and natural shea butter. This is soap and fragrance free plus this is also hypoallergenic. For his lotion, he used this Baby Dog for sensitive skin. Again, no fragrance. It's so mild and this tiny little bottle right here as you can see is what we use back in the Philippines whenever the baby's teething. A little advice for first time moms like me, um, for your wash and shampoo products, go grab the ones that already has a pump. Um, compared to the pore type bottle like the one that I'm holding on this video, I have nothing against this product. It's gentle for the baby, it's really good for their skin. But you need two hands to use this compared to just, you know, having a big bottle of wash and shampoo with a pump. You only need one hand for this and your other hand is free, of course, to secure your baby. On this area, I also have my Blooming Bath Lotus. Oh my god, I love, love, love this product so much. It makes the bathing process super easy for me and for my baby. My baby loves it. It is a non-sleep. It is so easy to use. I just place this on the sink. I let the water run. It's really not bulky. It is not heavy. It's super light and also it is super easy to clean. On this station, I also have my baby's robe and all of his towels. I have one tiny towel and two bigger towels. By the way, I forgot to mention that part of my preparation is I always, always make sure that I sanitize and clean both the sink and this little area right here that you can see on the screen. Here what I'm doing is I am just preparing his um, towels. The first one I would lay like this and the other one I have to roll. The rolled towel is actually for his feet because my baby kicks so much and I don't want him to get hurt so I place this towel um, on his feet which you will see later on this video. After I use the towel for his feet, I then use it as an added support for his head. The first thing that I wash is his head, so there's really no need for me to take off all of his clothes for now. And as you can see on this video, I use one petal of the Blooming Bath Lotus as sort of like his pillow. I never worry where the water goes because this product is really good at soaking the water. It goes right to the sink. Now it's time to check the water. Make sure it is warm, not hot. Bathing my baby is one of the many, 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 many things that I love to do with him. As much as I can, I try to make this experience safe, easy, and fun for him. Sometimes if I want to be extra sure that the water would not go on his ear, I use the small towel like this and place it on that area. Every time I rinse his hair, I do not go super close on the ear. 
I use my hands to wash off the shampoo in this particular area. Now that's done, I grab the small towel again and dry his hair a little bit. Now it's time to take off his clothes and diapers. This is what I was talking about earlier. First, I place this roll towel under my baby's feet just to prevent him from hitting the surface without any buffer since he kicks so much. And now, I am placing it at the back of his neck and head for added support. This is where I dry him, put the Dove lotion and his diapers, and of course, get him on his robe. This is what my second station looks like, where I have his lotion. I am using this at the moment because he has a little bit of eczema. His milk, he needs to be fed after bath, his clothes, and I also have wipes. soothing bath my baby usually gets hungry that's why I need to prepare his milk now it's feeding time and that wraps up everything I hope you enjoyed this video and you find this informative if you do please let me know by liking this video and also before I go please if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe for more and you can also follow me on my Instagram to see what other things I'm up to again thank you so much for watching I will see you next time